Tatiana from Las Vegas. I am here at the Salt Lake location getting a tummy tuck with my girl, Dr. Van Boram. See y'all on the front side. Okay, you guys, I am in the waiting room. I got my IV. I am waiting on the anesthesiologist and then the doctor. And then that's it, y'all. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> so, prepare. If you get any type of surgery, you're going to be thirsty. <laughs> you're not going to drink that. No lip stuff, no nothing. So, this morning, I woke up very emotional. But I got in the shower. I said a long prayer. Um, and I actually feel really good right now, you guys. Like, positive vibes, positive mindset. I feel really good. I'm excited. So... I woke up talking talk, talk uh, no, like no, 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 Shut up. <laughs> Okay, you guys, quick update. I have been back at my hotel for a while now. My anesthesia has worn off. So my sister slash caregiver has me taking medicine frequently so it doesn't wear off. That is key. Do not let your meds wear off or you're going to pay for it. My pain right now is about a 7-8 but I'm comfortable laying down, so everything's going good. The Gatorade is to help with hydration, and the pineapple juice is to help with inflammation. Okay, you guys, it is time to pour out my bowl. And yes, y'all, I got the Gatorade bottle. I gotta squeeze it, right? You gotta make sure it's all the way like tight mm. and then press your cup here. So they prescribed me Oxy Fives. They prescribed me a nausea medicine because you will get nauseated. And they prescribed me a antibiotic. Now, yes. You do have to pay for your own prescriptions. Um, each of them were about $20, $25. But here's a little bit of game for y'all. If you guys download or use the RX app, that will save you a few dollars. So keep that in mind. I wanted to share with you the alcohol pads. So I got these off of Amazon. And what these are used for is when you get up and walk around, go to the bathroom or anything, if you feel nauseated or you feel like you're going to throw up, you open it and then you just sniff it a little bit. And whatever is in there, it actually helps you. Now I want to share with you the over-the-counter medications that they ask you to get. So they want you to get just regular Tylenol. It can be store brand or name brand. Um, 500 milligrams because they want you to take 1,000 total. They tell you to also get some ibuprofen um, because they want you to alternate these two, okay? And also, you know, with any kind of surgery, um, 
we tend to get constipated because we are taking medication so this is the stool softener that uh, they recommended so this is the one i went to walmart and got they want you to take uh your first bowel movement in about three days i have not had one yet it's my second day so hopefully me taking this um day and night and some water or juice it will help me go also i wanted to share a trick with you guys uh going to the bathroom when you have your first bowel movement this or say if you need to cough or blow your nose or anything you want to compress this really tight to your stomach while you do what you do today is my third day in recovery and i am actually doing okay you see i'm sitting up um my pain level right now and just me sitting down period is about five or six if anything i'm uncomfortable before i'm in pain i just got done eating some yogurts they want me on a high protein diet but overall you guys i'm doing good i want to share you my drain uh i showed it before when it was red so now it is yellow that means that it is my fluid is clearing up which is a big thing also, I'm not draining as much, so that is good. The most uncomfortable hurting part is me having to get up and go to the bathroom and then me having to get in the shower, I would say. Because getting in the shower, I have to undo my stomach, my binder, my foams. So taking it off loosens me up. So that hurts me a little bit. So taking a shower, I would have to say, has to be the most uncomfortable um thing for me to have to do so yes other than that i mean i'm sitting up kind of straight you know just sitting here now when i stand up i'm right back down to the floor <laughs> and while i'm sitting here laughing just a little bit let me tell y'all what happened to me last night okay i gotta take a breath on this one so my mom is here with me right me and my mom are both goofy, okay? So it's really funny right now because I am not able to laugh, right? So I have a really funny laugh right now. Okay? <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what happened last night, but I accidentally let out a laugh, you guys. And when I tell you that was the worst thing I ever could have did. I instantly got hot, instantly started sweating, instantly got nauseated, like, I almost died, y'all. I almost fell off this couch and died. So, do not laugh, okay? Like, literally, whatever you can do to not laugh, don't do it, because I don't care how funny anything is anymore, I bet you I will never do that until I'm all the way healed, because that pain is no joke, okay? No joke. So you guys, don't do it. <laughs> do not do it. But yes, you guys, other than that, I'm doing good. I've had so many people reach out to me. I really appreciate that, you guys. And you see, I'm still making sure I'm filming every step for you guys because I promised y'all that. So I got y'all. Now, I'm going to ask the question, you know, how is your pain? How is the pain? So, the pain, you guys. What I can say is, yes, you have pain, but in my opinion, I feel like um, I'm more uncomfortable than I am in pain. You get what I'm saying? Like, for one, I'm swollen, okay? For two, my whole stomach is numb, so that's kind of a different feeling. Uh, I can't feel nothing. But um, I want to say, in my opinion, and me been dealing with this for, what, today's the fifth day? The pain is tolerable, and I say it's tolerable because this was something that I really wanted for myself, which you guys know. This is something that I really wanted for myself, so I really feel like this pain and me being uncomfortable and having to go through this, you know, this the whole recovery, I feel like it was all worth it to be able to look how the doctor got me looking, okay? Because she did her thing. So that's what I can say, ladies, like, don't let the pain scare you away. I know, you know, some of us, our pain tolerance is higher than the others. But I would say if you, if you come across a procedure that you really want, ladies, 
just do it. You get what I'm saying? Like they say, beauty is pain. If this is something that you really want, go ahead and do it for yourself. I am up early. It's about 5.40. I gotta go meet with my doctor for the last time. Um, but I wanted to share something with you guys um, that I just experienced in the bathroom. So, I'm sure you all know, you know, after you have any kind of surgery, we are not 100% ourself, correct? Like, we're not able to do everything for ourselves. And for women like me who are very independent, that's hard for us. And also individuals like me who um, have short patience. Um, so I was just in the bathroom trying to wipe myself up because with this drain coming out of me, sometimes it leaks on you. And that is very disgusting. Okay, especially when you're sitting in it, you know, because you don't want to wake up the person who's here taking care of you constantly. So I got up this morning to go to the bathroom and I'm in there trying to wash up, wash up, you know, and I can only bend down and get, you know, certain areas. So I found myself getting frustrated. So I wanted to share with you guys that frustration is going to be a part of this whole recovery thing. And just take it easy. Take it easy on yourself. Breathe. Remind yourself that you are not capable of everything right now. You cannot do everything so just do what you can do but don't get overly frustrated and hard on yourself and fail okay i really just wanted to <laughs> share that with you guys because as i'm reminding you guys at the same time i'm reminding myself it's all a learning experience so i want you guys to learn with me as i'm learning so frustration it's going to come along, you guys, and it's okay. Just breathe and remind yourself that it is okay. Calm down. Take it easy. All right, you guys? Well, I am about to go outside in this 23-degree weather and freeze. <laughs> Since all I can put on is this nightgown and this bed. For real? Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? Hey y'all, it's Tatiana back. I have made it out to the flat side safely with my girl, Dr. Van Borum. She was amazing. Listen to everything that I had to say. And the most important part, she kept real, you guys. The staff here are amazing as well. I would recommend anybody to come here. Everybody was so nice, made me feel like I was cared for. Um, and I will keep you guys updated with my post-op pics in the near future. All right, y'all. Got a wheelchair for you, girl. You gotta make it work. Do what you gotta do. And I know when I get this airport, they're gonna find me a dang wheelchair. Ooh.